Warning, do not attempt the following experiment without adult supervision. Hi everyone, my name is Shabrad Rukra, and I am the scientist wannabe. Happy April everyone, I hope you all enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day and the rest of your March. For today's experiment, we'll be eating a large bag of spinach. Just kidding, happy April fools everyone. What we will be doing today is we'll be extracting DNA from spinach. Before we get into today's experiment, let's first talk about what DNA stands for and what DNA even is. DNA is an acronym for deoxyribonucleic acid. That's a big word, and it might be a lot to take in if it's your first time hearing it, which is why I'll be saying DNA throughout the rest of this video. DNA is a molecule that carries genetic information that makes a human like me different from a human like you. DNA is unique to a specific individual, which is why people have different fingerprints, even identical twins. Now that we know what DNA is, let's get to the materials we'll be using today. These materials are Rubbing alcohol A powerful blender A timer A half cup measuring cup A half cup of spinach Measuring spoons Dishwashing soap Meat tenderizer A strainer Water Table salt A spoon A glass measuring cup A cotton swab And safety glasses It is very important to wear safety glasses because we will be dealing with chemicals such as rubbing alcohol which can be harmful to the eyes Now that we know what materials we'll be using, let's get on to the experiment. First, we'll be measuring out a half cup of spinach, followed by one cup of water and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Next, we'll be putting all three of our measured ingredients into our blender. Once they're all in, we will blend. You want to blend until you get a soupy-like mixture. Now, we will pour our green mixture through a strainer into a glass measuring cup. Once you have added the green mixture into the glass measuring cup, measure out two tablespoons of dishwashing soap and add it to your green mixture. Use a clean spoon to further mix the dishwashing soap into your green mixture. Now, we will set our timer for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes are up, Add a pinch of meat tenderizer to your green mixture. Make sure to add this evenly and slowly. Use a spoon to thoroughly mix the meat tenderizer into the green mixture. Take a look at the current volume of your green mixture. Now add that same volume of rubbing alcohol into your green mixture. Use a spoon to thoroughly mix the rubbing alcohol into your green mixture. Set a timer for 3 minutes. Throughout these 3 minutes, you can see a precipitate building up. This precipitate you see is spinach DNA. Now you might be wondering why and how the DNA appeared. When we blended the spinach, it broke the spinach down into its simplest cellular form. The soap helped us further see the DNA, and the rubbing alcohol acted as a glue to clump all the DNA together so it can be seen by the naked eye. Now that we are done with today's experiment, we must properly dispose of our green mixture. With me living in Calgary, it is highly recommended by our city to dispose of chemicals such as rubbing alcohol in a proper facility. These facilities can range from your landfills to local fire stations. It is strongly not recommended to dump rubbing alcohol down the sink because it can harm the environment. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. 
Tune in on May 1st, 2017 for a new video, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great April everyone, and remember, everything is science.